with like real jobs yes. and careers and they're not yeah. dirty and tainted. Real connections. Yeah. Right. I don't know what Rina is going to do now. I don't know. Really don't. I just, you know, I mean, she's probably made some good money. I mean, she's probably got some money in the bank after eight years of this. And, and she doesn't seem like a person who's blown through it on Lambos. And you I know. was just going to say, did you and I talk about this here before? Like she seems to live. I mean, first of all, I'm not overly impressed with the, you told me you were at her house. I mean, you, you were there. I'm not overly impressed with what I see on the TV for the inside of her house. It's a little dated. Yeah. Yeah. But it, you know, and I don't know, maybe someday she'll ride off into the sunset. I don't think she'll leave LA. She can't, but I don't know. Maybe she'd go to a different, I don't you know. Think? You think her and Harry will just leave? If nothing happens, if if she can't get something going in a couple of years, and he's not working. LA is not a forgiving city to get old in. It just isn't, especially if you're a woman. Either is, I mean, I split my time now between two horrible cities because either is New York. Yeah. I mean, it's different in New York, I guess, because you can insulate yourself and just have drivers everywhere and like go to Broadway and yeah. but, can't, but can't you do that in LA? Okay. Can't you? Can't you go to like the grill off off Rodeo and where but there's you're some... you're you're just you're that's a that's a whole scene in itself and you know it's just LA really has like one big market and that's entertainment. One hundred. That's why I got an apartment there because yeah, it's literally the high school for the entertainment business. Yeah. It just is. And, and it is. You know, everyone is talks that, about it 24 yeah. hours a day. This is why I can never yeah. be there at full time. It's like, no. I love it because I'm a workaholic. And so yeah. you do talk about it. And then you're like, Jesus Christ, I can't wait to get on a plane and get the hell out of here. Cause right. like, it's I, I'm exhausted. But you see, New York has, you know, the theater, it has Wall Street, it has, you know, it, 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 there, there's so much in New York. You guys, I mean, it's you guys have so many different avenues and 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 groups of people, and it's so international. And not to say that LA doesn't have a diverse crowd; they we do for sure. But it's not New York; it just isn't. If you have money, New York is like one of the. You know, it's like on the top of the list to, to retire in. It's like the best place. You can just go to the theater. You go have your martini at noon. You go to the Burdorf. Oh, like you could live like a very. It's yeah, great to retire in, right? If you have money, because yeah. you have access to all these, you could never be bored ever. No. And you have to have a helipad and a helicopter to get out, so you don't have to sit in traffic if you want to go somewhere and. Private jet. Yeah. If you have take, that kind of money, great. Take the hell you take the helicopter to the Hamptons. Yeah. 40 minutes as opposed to three hours. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Rena would leave Hollywood. Maybe you're right. Cause she's not, you know. I mean, the other thing is like I hate to be so grim and gruesome, but I guess they're only like 10 years apart. But like Harry's 70, but I guess she's 60. But I guess. I mean, that is a different, you know, like she will be alone for some part of her life. I mean, I know we all will. I mean, I, I'm alone at the moment regardless. So, but I mean, I, I guess, well, I guess when I think about it like that, I guess her, I guess I, when you hear Harry 70, you think she's much younger, but then when you hear she's 60, you're like, or she's going to be 60. You're like, oh, I guess they're around the same age. I always think of her as quite a bit younger though. Well, women tend to live, eight, I think it's right. eight years longer than men. I mean, that's why Donnie is nine years younger than me. And so that was a good move. We can hold hands and ride off into the sunset together. You planned very well. Thank you. Thank you. You planned very well. If I, right, that that's the way to do it. I, I agree. Because yeah. you look at like a Candy Spelling, like, you know, I mean, she was much younger than like Aaron Spelling. And I mean, she's adjusted to her new life. Or let's, she's doing very, you know, she lives at the century. She's in the penthouse. I'm not feeling sorry yeah. for Candy Spelling. But, you know, <laughs> like you think about like that, like you're like, oh yeah, you, this is why yeah. it's been so long that you've been a widow. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I, I mean- Honestly, I hope she lands on her feet. I, I don't have, you know, I wish her nothing but the best. I think that she did her job. She was great at it. And even though she gave plenty of reasons for people not to like her and spit venom at her behavior on the show, she delivered. 
And I hope she lands on her feet. I hope she finds something. I just, I just hope that she doesn't, you know, go so far down the rabbit hole looking for to hold on to that housewife fame, which is such a weird thing because it's like a cult, a cult following when people really love the show. And I think, you know, she said plenty of times how much she, her whole life, all she ever wanted to be was famous. And she has that now. And as that tapers off and if she's not back on television, you know, God forbid. I mean, you, she's got a great body, but you just, I don't know. I don't know. It's probably never. I mean, I, I, I agree with you. I, I don't hate her as much as everyone else. She showed up. She did the job. I personally, one of the best shows that's ever existed on TV in the history of TV is Melrose Place. So I loved Melrose Place. I know maybe you don't as much, but I just never watched it. I, I it don't was, know where I, I was mean, at that time in my life. I didn't see that. Show. Heather Locklear. I mean, it was, you know, it was literally, there's a reason she's good at, she was good at this job. I mean, Melrose Place was an insane show. Insane. An apartment building blew up. I mean, someone, Marsha Cross ripped off her wig and she had a, she was crazy. She had a shave. I mean, it was, Melrose Place was like anything. It literally was like housewives, but like it was anything could happen. We're not wow. even just talking affairs. We're talking like just. How long was she on that show? Two years? I Yeah, two yeah. years. And I don't know. I think they wrote her out of the script, but she was she was a main character. She did great. T Taylor McBride. She did great. She did great. Yeah. And I know she like Days of Our Lives like that's But for me, it was Melrose. But, you know, yeah, she could like, you know, that's the thing. It's like you look at so many actresses in Hollywood that are just. Like they they're they're thrilled because they are fifty nine and they 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 work like you don't have the crazy housewives fame but you you're on a show you're like fifth on the call sheet and then that ends and then you get another show and you're a well, what working. What are out there now that are like that? I mean, and you you know you love Melrose Place then, but how would Melrose Place hold up now? It wouldn't. Well, they tried to revive it already many years ago and it didn't work. Okay, yeah, that, that's I what mean, I'm saying. Not with it's Lisa Rinna, but now. I mean, it's it's White Lotus, it's Yellowstone, it's it's like all of these series that, and where there's very good actors and a lot of the people that are on those shows, you've never even heard of them before. That's what I mean. But they're thrilled to be there, and there's real jobs, and like yeah. they'll have a career. I mean, like, look, could I see Rinna? doing like all the Hallmark stuff, like, you know, Candace Cameron and Lacey Shibbett. Like I could see her doing, I can't see her being like, I have a new half hour comedy on ABC or I'm, I'm on the new white Lotus on, I mean, I don't know, like to your point earlier, I, I mean, it's, can she slip back into a role or is it going to be watching Lisa Rinna from the housewives? I don't know. I don't know. I just I, I don't I mean for me personally I'm not an oxygen or like a Hallmark channel watcher I've never seen ever in my life so I can't say like I don't know what the what those shows are but for they, me if I turn that on and she was on I would be watching